morning YouTube, welcome to a quick update on my Red Sea Reef 170. I think it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I last did one. Um, bits of good news to report and also a few problems which I'm hoping you guys can uh, help me out with. First of all, just want to say uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Gone over 50 people now, never thought I'd ever get over 50. I know it's nothing compared to some channels, but I never thought I'd do about 10 or, 10 or 15. Um, people like me, but it's gone over 50 now, so my aim is hopefully 100. So I'm hoping these uh, videos are worthwhile and are, and are helping some of you guys out with uh, these tanks or similar problems. Uh, okay, I'll just go straight into it. Uh, for those who have been following, you might notice a difference in my sump, and that is that the Bull Magus Mini Reactor has been taken out completely. A uh, number of reasons I did it. One, it was broken anyway, uh, I won't go into why it was broken, basically it kept coming apart in the tank and chucking out the uh, carbon and the urofos all over the sump, making a mess. Uh, and as, as discussed in the uh, previous uh, video, very difficult to control the urofos, it's basically just solidifying into a block and there was no flow going through it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's gone out, the carbon's still in there, it's in a bag, just in between the baffle. Um, and there's sump there. Whether that's effective, I don't know. It's definitely not as effective as going through a reactor. Um, but it's there for now. I would like another reactor in here because I think they are brilliant. Um, buying which one, I don't know. You guys can recommend a good reactor. You know, for you know, a, a, not a top end one, but not a bottom one ever. Maybe one between, maybe around fifty pounds, sixty pounds. Um, what's that in dollars? Probably about a hundred dollars. Anyone can recommend one that's good for carbon. Um, and potentially Rofos in the future. Um, please let me know and I'll definitely look at it. Speaking of Rofos, um, in the past few videos I've been running it in conjunction with the carbon. I am no longer. Um, I'm reverting back to my old method of phosphate reduction and that was through the Nopox. If you go way back in my previous videos you'll see that I didn't wasn't convinced that Nopox was doing anything for my phosphate. Because um, I had a little bit of a break of green hair algae. But I'm going back to it, I'm going to have a bit more faith in it, you know, Red Sea are a good, are a very good uh, company and um, if they say it does then it, it must do and I'm trying to remain positive so I'm going to go back to it and I'm really going to stick at it now for a good few months before I spend a load of money, you know, on GFO and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, give it two or three months, see how I get on and mostly monitor the phosphate closely. And speaking of phosphate and nutrient levels, that probably leads me to my first problem. Not sure if you can um, see because of the light, but I have had an outbreak of cyanobacteria this past week. Here it is there, just a light dust. It was worse than this yesterday, but I did a bit of a clean up of the tank. Um, don't know what's caused it, to be honest. Again, anyone with any ideas? I battled with this last year for about six months, then it kind of disappeared. Um, I actually turned up the intensity of my lights on recommendation of my local LFS. That seemed to have done the trick, but it's come back now after a few months. Not too sure. Um, this was happening, by the way, while I had the uh, reactor running with the GFO. So I know you guys are probably thinking, well, I've took the GFO down now, I've got Sino. No, this was happening about a week or two ago. The, G the reactor only literally went offline last night. So if anyone's got any suggestions on what Sino is, uh, so obviously I know what Sino bacteria is, if anyone's just what would cause it, I know the, the obvious things like your lighting and your nutrients, but to me everything seems to be in check. Like I said, full full marine spec lighting, um, seven to eight hours a day, it's on full. Um, decent flow, I've moved this ugly pump here in the corner, that's only temporary, that's, that's, a, that's a 1500 litre old retained pump, I just throw it in there to um, get some really good flow. As you can see, it's blowing the sand in the corner and another 1,000 litre pump on the other side, plus the return. So hopefully it's not a flow issue.